Oh snap. It's another Visual Studio Code release, ladies and gentlemen. The VS Code team is on fire. They keep delivering goodies for us to be thankful for. Now this one is a little bit on the lighter side, but there's still some great features in it. So let's take a look at some of the highlights of it. In this release, there was a big focus on issue reduction, performance, and serviceability. The VS Code team addressed around 4,400 issues raised by the community. In terms of serviceability, it's now easier to provide information when you raise an issue. That means there's now activity log files that share information around things like crashes and delays. It also means there's a new command line option, dash dash status, that shows metrics on a running instance of VS Code. This is all going to help in diagnosing problems that may come up. You can view running extensions and get profiling details to see which ones might be causing a problem. This is a great addition because many times it's an extension we have installed that we wouldn't expect to be hindering performance. If you tend to accumulate a lot of tabs, you most likely have some trouble seeing all of them at once. There's now a setting available that adjusts how they are resized. It defaults to the value of fit, but if you change it to shrink, you'll get a better view of what files you still have opened. I make typos all the time when coding. The new and improved IntelliSense helps me avoid getting frustrated with myself by remembering what I intended to use. So if I type cost instead of const, I can select the correct statement from the options presented, and it will provide that as the top option moving forward. We can see this also worked when I mistyped a console statement, and the IntelliSense recognized the difference between my intentions. This next feature is a pretty handy one that will help out quite a bit. We can pipe out content from the terminal directly into VS Code. This is useful in many situations, such as when you're looking to read logs from an application or find that running node process to kill when it's using the port you always need. And there we have it for the Visual Studio Code November release. Just a heads up, there will not be one in December, but we'll keep you posted when the next one's coming up. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.